My name is Samantha Badoa, and I am so excited to be able to collaborate with the Windsor Public Library for National Poetry Month and share some poetry with you all. So the theme of this year's National Poetry Month is resilience, and what a fitting theme considering the last year or so we've all had. Um, yeah, so uh, I think there's going to be a couple of poems of mine shared throughout uh, the week and the month, but the first one that I'm really excited about sharing is called Reverence. I have searched every inch of the skin, looking for something permanent, something familiar, a relic or a treasure a history has tucked away on a rainy day and forgotten about something I can bow my head to in reverence. But things in motion are always fleeting, hard to define, and imperfect, we are imperfect. The roads in this city are always under construction. There are always new buildings being built. There are always old buildings being torn down. The air is more filled with their ashes than sunshine. This is the only memorial they will ever get. Things are changing. Things are breaking down. Even the sidewalk in the city that I love have cracks in them. And on bad days, they are just that. Cracks in cement, but sometimes on good days they are battle scars. And on the best of days they are remnants of a story we have all been writing for centuries. Let us write. Let us embark. Let us destroy and recreate without worry of the impermanence of flesh and mortar. I am learning the importance of all that is fading. Learning how to cradle things that are dying in my chest and things that are living in my hands. I have made a border town of my ribcage. I will not mourn all that is temporary. I will not search for anything tangible. Instead, I will be bold and courageous with the knowledge that there is nothing built around us that cannot be reduced to rubble and rebuilt again and again. We can be rebuilt again and again. Thank you. If you would like to read Samantha's poetry, you can check out her book, So Am I, on our website at windsorpubliclibrary.com.